Sarajevo is burning. The city has been under siege since April 1992. Fresh food is unavailable, electricity scarce, running water limited. Thousands have been wounded. Tens of thousands are struggling to escape. Five centuries ago, Jews arrived here from Spain, escaping the Inquisition. Before the Holocaust, they numbered 15,000. Now, the final remnant is once again in the eye of the storm. Zagreb, Croatia. The Joint Distribution Committee office in the Jewish Community Center is the hub of a rescue operation now underway. The operation is directed by Eli Eliezri of JDC. Establishing radio communication with Sarajevo is step number one. We've completed all the necessary preparations, he says, for flying in communications gear, medicines and food, and of course, to fly out the people. This is a delicate and complex operation. JDC staffers Doron and Eli must take a UN flight to bring the vital communications equipment to the besieged city. Buses brought here to rescue people now traverse some 200 miles of the most beautiful countryside on earth. Countryside now transformed into a brutal and unpredictable battleground. The rescue convoy will have to cross more than 30 checkpoints manned by rival militias. 12 miles from Sarajevo, out of the range of fire, a JDC convoy is being loaded with food and medicine a vital lifeline for the people of Sarajevo. Danger is a daily fact of life in Sarajevo, an exhausted, decimated city. The red building on the right houses the Jewish community offices. Even today, when the guns pause, traditional Ladino music can be heard. Quietly and patiently, they are waiting. Some for badly needed food and medicines, others for evacuation. With the buses that just arrived came a prominent Jewish leader from Zagreb, Yasha Bienenfeld. Between two and three hundred, I think. Uh, did the convoy bring also some food to non-Jews here? Uh, for me, personally, everybody is hungry in the same way. No Jews or non-Jews. Everybody who is our friend, who was our friend before the war, has to be our friend in the war. Fear, anxiety and concern are the dominant emotions here. A Red Cross convoy that tried to evacuate people a few days ago turned back when a shell hit the leading vehicle. Despite the dangers, some Jewish community leaders decide to remain behind to help remaining Jews still waiting for permission to leave. After hours of waiting, with hopes diminishing, the convoy is at last permitted to begin its treacherous journey. the UN checkpoint, one of many to be crossed. Is it a happy day or a sad day? Happy for them which are leaving, sad, sad for me. Well, but I hope the day will come when some of them will return. Because my community, as you know, is very old and it has to be preserved and to live next 500 years.